In last video, we talked about Sun in the sign of Libra, what happens when it gets debilitated there. In this video, we are going to talk about the exaltation of the Venus. What happens when you have Venus in the sign of Pisces? So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Brahmanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Venus in the sign of Pisces. By the way, Venus gets exalted into the sign of Pisces. So before we talk about Venus in the sign of Pisces, what is Venus? Venus is a planet which is the first thing which comes to my mind when I think of Venus is beauty, love, peace, harmony, and luxury, comfort, relationship, marriage, and marriage partner, all these can be seen with the Venus. Venus is also the natural karaka for the marriage. When I say karaka, karaka are the producers. Planet Venus is responsible for marriage. When we are judging timing of marriage, quality of marriage, and the nature of the spouse, all these things, we always look for the condition of the Venus. Sign of Pisces is ruled by Jupiter, is water element sign, and is one of the dual sign. And that's what makes the sign of Pisces different from the Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, but it's a fire element sign, and it is one of the dual side but the element of fire and element of water is the difference between two of the Jupiter sign. Pisces is the sign ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of abundance, positivity, income, surplus, values, morals, guru, parents, teachers, students, wisdom, all these things can be seen with Jupiter. So the sign of Pisces has the impact of all these significations. And if you look at the natural horoscope, the sign of Jupiter rules the ninth house, Sagittarius, and the twelfth house of spirituality and the loss. The sign of Pisces is ruled by water element. Water elements are often emotional, but this emotion is a deep emotion because this is not a shallow water. This is not a waterfall. This is like a deep sea water, wherein you won't be able to recognize the true emotions because everything is underwater. Everything is underwater. So you, you may not be able to identify their true emotions. Why I'm talking about the emotions? Because the sign of Pisces is one of the water element sign, which and water element signs are emotional signs. Pisces is the sign which is guided by the divine logic because it rules the 12th house in the original horoscope, that is the Aries ascendant. Pisces sign is also the dual sign. What kind of duality it is? It is holding the duality of the cardinal signs as well as the fixed signs. The idea which was initiated at the Aries is at the peak in the Pisces. It has gone through 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 12 signs. Now it has come to the maturation. It has come to the climax. It has come to the exaltation. So the 12th sign and the planets in the 12th sign are very much have completed all the cycles through the planets for that soul. The sign of Pisces is one of the quiet sign, which is more of an introspective and which is more about being shy and being on their own and being introvert. This is 12th house an emotional house and this is the deep house. So they are not outspoken, they are quiet and shy. 
but the 12th house the 12th sign pisces is ruled by jupiter so these people have the intelligence emotional intelligence these people have an emotional intelligence which is guided by the jupiterian energy which makes them thoughtful and makes them emotionally strong but it is very difficult for other people to understand these people you 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 won't be able to understand these people easily you have to dive deep into the sea water to know their true self the sign of pisces is also about the intuition or the psychic abilities 12th sign is the abstract sign and is about the things beyond this realm because first house is ascendant 12th house is the farthest from the ascendant so it also shows the other lokas the other realms other dimensions and this is the area where people can have different experiences out of body experiences or the spiritual experiences that's why it is ruled by jupiter all these things happen when you are quiet introvert and intuitive this is the sign of pisces and when venus comes in here it gets exalted venus is the planet of love the planet of love comes into the deep emotions this makes these people emotionally balanced more so emotionally strong i would say these people are mentally and emotionally strong these people can love in a honest open and a beautiful way they have high ideals with respect to the love these people think about universal love these people are not confined to a personal love but the 12th house is the ultimate house so these people have love for humanity i would say these people can love everybody when venus comes into the sign of pisces and gets exalted it gives them a sense of wisdom with respect to the relationship these people have a unique inherent intuition about the other people's emotion i would say this makes these people be wise in love and relationship when venus comes into the sign of pisces it makes person honest and moral these people enjoy and have pleasures of venusian activities but they have the understanding of the ethics and they do it in a honest way i would say venus in the pisces makes person beautiful when venus is in the pisces and exalted it works on a higher plane and gives a person moral and ethical approach towards the relationship as well as towards the pleasures he seeks so he would enjoy the life from the higher plane be it artistic pursuits be it materialistic pursuits or the relationship pursuits he will always be with the he will always chase them with the high morals exaltation of the planet does not mean it is good and the debilitation of the planet does not mean it is bad you have to look for so many other factors to really come to certain conclusions or the interpretations you need to understand where is planet venus placed in the d9 chart in d1 chart you have exalted venus but what if it is in some other rashi in d9 chart it will reduce the effect of it what if the mercury is conjunct with this venus 
it will give niche bhanga to mercury but it will associate this venus with a debilitated planet and will change the flavor of the interpretation what if jupiter is also conjunct with this venus this will change the dynamic of this venus it won't be the venus in pisces but it would be something more what if this venus is in the 10th house or is in the first house or is in the 8th house all the lordships will change what if this venus is with mars or is with moon or is aspected by the saturn or is aspected by the jupiter or is conjunct with the ketu or conjunct with the rahu or is conjunct with the ninth lord conjunct with the 12th lord there are so many factors so we cannot really conclude that yes venus in the pisces means this and what i have shared with you is just few interpretations you can apply the signification of the pisces to the signification of the venus and you can derive your own interpretations you can derive hundreds of other interpretations don't just limit yourself to this four or five interpretations which we discussed and when you will understand what exactly is happening in a chart that will give you an idea about what this venus exaltation is doing for a particular chart so yes this was venus exaltation as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys what to watch next if you are new to my channel go to the playlist and start exploring the fascinating world of vedic astrology start your journey with how to get started into vedic astrology or just go to the um, retrogression playlist or rising sign playlist or planets through houses playlist or how to know the transits or transit sources dasha video you can start your journey with any of these videos if you have any question put your question into the comment section of the youtube video or you can dm me on instagram at pramanik astrology i read all the comments on youtube and i try to reply to almost all the comments and on instagram as well i try to reply to almost all the comments all the dms sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace